Hello everybody, this is your boy True Jeezy, and I am back with another Power Ranger review. I'm digging in my vault and I haven't um showed these in a while. I have these in my arms, as you can see. I have a bunch of stuff just sitting in, in, in the closet, is what I want to call it, full of goodies. But today I am showing you the legacy uh Mighty Morphin. I'm sorry, the Legacy Power Ranger Zeo team. I have the whole team. Uh, Zeo Ranger 1 pink. Zero Ranger 2 yellow, Zero Ranger 3 blue, Zero Ranger 4 green, Zero Ranger 5 red, and of course Zero Ranger 6 gold. I have all of them from the Legacy line. So, no, I'm not selling them. So, do not watch my video and leave a comment and ask me how much do I want for them because I'm not selling them. I got them for a reason and I'm keeping them. But at the same time, if you give me a good deal, I might have to let them go. But nevertheless, uh, I'm going to review on these legacy figures here. I'm going to do one by one. This is going to be a kind of a lengthy video. So, you guys, I greatly appreciate you guys. Just stay tuned and watch the video. Um, to my new viewers, please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Please hit that bell for all post notifications. Hit that thumbs up and leave comments. I do read them all. And as for my current subscribers, you guys already know what to do. I don't have to tell you guys much. Hit that thumbs up. Leave comments. Watch the video to the end. I greatly appreciate it. Nevertheless, you guys, um, I'm going to go one by one. But these figures start with, of course, the original one pink, and we're going to go forward from that. So you guys stay tuned, and you guys just enjoy the show. <clears throat> All right, you guys, as you can see, I have the Zero Ranger one pink out. Um, I'm going to do this review slightly different. I normally show the accessories, so I'm going to do it now as the Ranger is sitting on the um, turntable. So with the Legacy line, they did a lot of putting, putting stuff together. So basically, these are the holders for each um, sub sub-primary weapon, as you can see here. One holds the Zeo um, baton, that's what I'm gonna call it, and the other one holds the Zeo blaster. So they do peg, they do peg on the side of the Pink Ranger, as you guys can see. They do peg on the side of the Pink Ranger. Uh, so, like I said, this is what Bandai America was doing. And of course, you have the Zeo blaster here. Uh, pretty cool paint uh, for the most part. Typical um, weapon, side weapon anyway. Then, of course, you have the Zeo Baton, or uh, it's not her primary. I forgot what they call these, um, but this is not the one that extends. And also, when it comes to the Zeo, uh, the Zeo Rangers from the Legacy line, they did not come with their primary weapon compared to the Lightning Collection, which did make their primary weapon. So I was a little disappointed that um, that America did not do that. And as you guys can see, my Zeo Ranger 1 Pink has been in the box for quite some time. I do have to get a heat gun and get that leg straightened out as well. So as I take off the turnstile and bring it closer, uh, the detail artwork on these uh, on these Bandai America figures are pretty cool. Um, they're they're really more of a glossier finish. You got the Zeo Ranger 1 Pink helmet here. Uh, it does have full 360 range of motion. It did have good neck uh, back and forth. You got the arm. These, yeah, the the um, the parts in these were a little bit more sturdier. They were a little bit bigger than the Legacy line as well, and they're easier to move and manipulate, as you can see. Uh, got a good bend, and once again, all the females do have 90 degree bend. They do have great waist back and forth. They actually have a whole swivel in the waist area. I thought that was pretty cool compared to the Legacy to the Lightning Collection line, who does not have that. Um, see here, they still got the 90 degree bend. In the leg, still got the good ankle movement. So, like I say, the Bandai America figures they have good, they have good parts and bad parts. They're not as stiff as the Lightning Collection line, as you guys can tell. These pieces are moving pretty fluid. I've had these in my collection maybe about four years now. It took me a minute to track them all down, um, but I got them all. Of course, you know you do have the elbow joint here. It does have good arm rotation here. Uh, that's one thing about these Bandai America figures. The arm does rotate very very well might i add it does have muscle swivel here and on the other arm as well but yeah these were built pretty good for the most part i'm not gonna lie to you got the zero rancher power belt here you got the peg openness here and you got the peg open here for the holster so that's one thing i did like about the new line they actually just incorporated it in the belt instead of you having the pegs because you know it's just kind of uh and i'm trying to get her to stand up guys so bear with me for a second all right, I'm gonna leave her here for now. Uh, just, I just want to get her to stand, and I should have left her living up. Oh, so I should have left her alone, and she was standing. Hold on, she's gonna give me a problem because her leg is is kind of bent. So there we go. I'm gonna have to just leave her there for now because that's the only way I can get her to stand. I'm sorry about that. Let me refocus. There we go. So. 
This is Zeo Ranger 1 Pink. I'm going to do one by one. This is my legacy Zeo line. Of course, I do have the Lightning Collection Zeo. I'm only missing two, which is one that just fell. And then the um, Zeo Ranger 2 Yellow, which I can get pretty soon. So, just to get her to stay. All right. So, enough about Zeo Ranger 1 Pink. I am about to get into Zero Ranger 2 Yellow, then Zero Ranger 3 Blue, Zero Ranger 4 Green, Zero Ranger 5 Red, and then of course, and last but not least, Zero Ranger 6 Gold. So you guys stay tuned, and uh, thank you for watching the video ahead of time. Next, we have Zero Ranger 2 Yellow. <clears throat> Sorry about the pose, guys. Uh, my figure's been in the box for so long that the legs are stiff and they're a little bent, so I have to get a heat gun and kind of uh, get them straightened out, but I'm not doing that right now. I want to give you guys this footage and this video of all the CEOs from the Legacy line compared to the um, um, Lightning Collection now. But nonetheless, this is the Euro Ranger 2 Yellow. Excuse me. One thing I did want to say is these Rangers, they were a little bit taller um, in the Legacy line. A little more masculine. They show more muscle definition compared to just what they look like on the um, Lightning Collection line. But nonetheless... Same thing with Zero 2 Yellow, great arm motion here. Uh, it's got a good pivot, 90 degree. Uh, good neck motion, Zero Ranger 2 Yellow helmet. I always thought this was pretty cool. Zero was one of my favorite lines other than Mighty Morphin. And um, Dino Thunder and Lost Galaxy, those are my favorites. Uh, of course, you got the thigh swivel here. Uh, do got the 90 degree bend here in the leg, got a good ankle. Same thing as the Pink Ranger guys, same mode as the female. Uh, nothing really changed. You got the double beam here. Got the good ankle support here. You got the elbow here. Here as well in the arm. Good range of motion. Do the 360 back and forth. Here and here. I'll do it one more time for a better review. Here and here. Uh, it's pretty much so accurate for the most part. All the Z, all the details. One thing about Bandai America, they didn't they didn't skimp on the painting. Um, they definitely were spot on with it. Both girls have skirts. For the most part, so I thought that was pretty cool. But like I said, I do have to uh fix my Zero Ranger 2 yellow and my Zero Ranger 1 pink leg because they've been in the box for so long, guys. Like, this is the person I pulled these things out in like three and a half, four years, literally. They just been sitting there in the in the box of goodies or the closet of goodies, and I haven't really messed with them since then. <clears throat> but nevertheless, Zero Ranger 2 yellow and on the Zero Ranger 3. All right, you guys, this is Zeo Ranger 3 Blue. And when it comes to the male um, sculpture, they are a little bit way more muscular. And, of course, they're way more flexible than the females. Um, they do have double-jointed elbows, double-jointed knees, which I will show you guys in a minute. They also have good ankle uh, support pivots here and there. Side note, so basically all my Zeo Rangers have the same battle Zeo battleizer, same hip pegs, and um, the uh, baton, Zeo baton. As everybody else, I think my Zero Ranger 5 Red may have its primary weapon and Zero Ranger 6 Gold are the only two that have their primary weapon. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So, as I take him off the turnstile, as you guys can see, uh, first off, helmet is always spot on, sure, accurate. Does have great flexibility in the neck. Does do 360 turn both ways. Does have a double joint in the arm, so you guys can see. Pretty dope. Good flexibility in the arm. These figures were way more muscular. Uh, I did not really care for that. Good ab crunch for the most part. He do have double joint in the knees. Uh, good ankle swivel on, um, on the leg. Good thigh turn on both sides. On the other side, he do have double jointed knees. Good ankle supports uh, here. Well, ankle pivots. I'm going to call it pivot here and here. Double joint in the arm as well. For Zeo Blue, they do have the range of motion as well. Like I say, all these were built entirely the same. They're just really, really muscular, which I don't understand why Hasbro kind of did that. I mean, not Hasbro, I'm so sorry. Uh, Bandai America made them this way. They made them really, really muscular. I guess they wanted them to be more sturdy. So that's what they did. Now I got to get this guy to stand up again. Okay, here we go. Come on now. Stand up for me. Stand up for me. Here we go. Bang, right there. All right, so they want to make it muscular. I don't really care for that. That's why I kind of like the Lightning Collection was better than the Legacy. But, of course, this is the OG compared to the to the uh, new breed. This is the OG line. So, a lot of people still looking for these. I have them, the whole squad. That's why I'm doing a review on them one by one. So, this is Zero Ranger 3 Blue. And then when I get my last two from the Lightning Collection, I will do a video of comparison from the Bandai America 
to the Lightning Collection has. So I'm gonna do a comparison side by side. So these figures, I think, are six and a half inches tall compared to the Lightning Collection. They are six, so a little more bulky, a little more bigger. But nonetheless, you guys, here it is: Zero Ranger Three Blue on to Zero Ranger Four Green. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. As you can see, I have Zero Ranger Four Green next. Same thing as Zero Ranger Three Blue. Same muscular uh, fi uh, mold they used. He just green with the Zen Ranger 4 helmet on there. I must say, he was one of the hardest ones to find, too, outside of Zen Ranger 2 yellow to find Zen Ranger 4 green. He was pretty hard to find, but nonetheless, shout out to Amazon for having them, and I was able to pick them up through Amazon. But I'm going to take them on the turnstile, give you the same review here. Zen Ranger 4 green, the helmet, of course, is spot on. Good neck, as usual. It turns all the way around. I think the pegs do pop off. They don't have a civilian head, but they do. You got the double joint in the arm. Good arm bicep rotation here. Got the ZO here. Uh, good ab crunch. Like I said, it kind of went away from that with the lightning collection. I do like that. Uh, of course, here, as usual, got the double jointed knee here. Ankle pivot here. Turn around this way. Double joint knee here again. Ankle pivot again, as so. Double joint elbow here. Good wrist motion. The wrist does break. Not break, literally. I'm talking about like break. It can go back and forth. Um, but nonetheless, you do have Zero Ranger 4 green. Uh, like I said, when I first originally got these, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix it as I'm talking to you guys. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool to have these in my collection. Uh, I thought it was pretty hot. But now I got Lightning Collection, and the way they built the Lightning Collection ones are a lot better, more show accurate. The finish is not a gloss finish. It's more of a matted, which is pretty cool, too, for the most part. But nonetheless, I do have the OG um, ZO team, the Legacy line. So... I'm going to have both and do a review on both. But you guys, here you go. Zero Ranger 4, green. All right, you guys, here is Zero Ranger 5 Red, a.k.a. Tommy, a.k.a. J.C. David Frank. Um, once again, like I say, same mold, muscular mold. Um, they use the guys, all molds are the same. They just painted it red. Zero Ranger 5 helmet red. Um, the whole thing is still show accurate for the most part. Just a muscular figure, and of course, the Power Rangers now, they don't show a lot of muscle in their spandex suits. But nonetheless, same features as everything else. Zero Ranger 5 helmet, as you guys can see. Good arm rotation here. Uh, also has the double jointed elbow here. And of course, you get down to the leg, got thigh swivel, double bend in the knee. Good ankle pivot swivel here. Uh, let it back down, turn it to the other side. Same thing here, double joint knee. Here, the parts will be a little bit better with Bandai America. I'm not gonna lie, they don't feel so cheapy plastic, in lack of a better term. Uh, but that's just a side note. And then, of course, you got the double elbow here, and you got the good rotation with the arm here, You're flexing on them. And then, of course, you got the good ab crunch. You notice how you got the, the ab muscles, like, yeah, the primaries really didn't have abs like that, they didn't show that. So, I'm trying to figure out where did Bandai America think of that, but they did. <laughs> um, good neck motion here was in Ridge of Fire Red. Can't complain, you guys. I think he's awesome. Um, the Hatties are still uh, surreal to have the legacy Zero Ranger team. Uh, he did not come with his uh, primary weapon. So the only one that came with a primary weapon, I'm going to correct myself from a couple of minutes ago when I said only Zero Ranger 5 Red and Zero Ranger Gold had a primary weapon. That's a correction. Zero Ranger 5 Red does not have a primary weapon. All he has is the side weapon that I showed you. For Zero Ranger 1 Pink. They all have the exact same weapon, so I was not going to show you guys the exact same thing like five times. I'm already doing that with the figures. Oh, no. I'm not going to do that with the, uh, with the, uh, y'all know what I'm trying to say. With the accessories. I couldn't get the word out. Uh, so once again, guys, Zero Ranger 5 Red. And then last one, these coming up, Zero Ranger 6 Gold. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, the last one, at least, I have Zero Ranger 6 Gold. So before I talk about Zero Ranger 6, I'm going to talk about his Golden Power Staff. So as you can see, this is the Golden Power Staff. He's the only one that came in a primary weapon. And I must say, this thing is definitely, definitely spot on. It looks hot. The paintwork is good on it. They even got the little button when you press this, drops down, that opens up. Um, but of course, it doesn't do all that. But nonetheless, if you watch the show, you know exactly that's what that does. So here is the Golden golden Staff. So this thing is pretty, pretty dope. And I was a geek to have this. I was disappointed. That they didn't give the other Rangers their primary weapon. Let me focus that. They didn't give the other Rangers their primary weapon. But they only gave Zero Ranger 6 gold. He is kind of suck. But that's why they made up for it with the Lightning Collection line. Even though 
Zero Ranger 3 Blue does not have its primary weapons. I'm assuming they're going to do a re-release of Zero Ranger 3 Blue, or they're going to just send you the weapons itself with the, you know, if you got the weapon, uh, got the figure, because everybody else had their primary weapons, but Zero Ranger 3 Blue. But nonetheless, we have a focus camera. Come on. There we go. We got Zero Ranger 6 Gold. I'm going to take them off the turnstile, give you a closer view of Zero Ranger 6 Gold, and I must say I was definitely... Definitely, it was in love with this thing when I first got it. He was actually one of my favorites about Zero Ranger 5 Red. Uh, of course, you guys know how it go. Same thing here, double joint everywhere in the arms. Um, he does, okay, so he he cannot do the full 180, 360 because of the, the chest plate here. Uh, double joint in the knees, but he can't go too far because of the calf um, part there. And then you have the ankle pivot here, which is also pretty good. Like I say, Bandai America definitely took, you know, they they, they had good quality when it came to the parts. They don't feel cheap. I will say that. Ankle pivot here and here. Straighten leg out. You got the uh, the thigh motion here. Double joint elbow here. In the arm. Uh, it does have a butterscotch finish. It does not go like it is in the neck. I don't think I was disappointed about it. It has a butterscotch finish, and I really, really hated that. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, at the end of the day. Good neck motion here. And then you got the full turn 360 here and here. Good ab crunch here. Not a lot compared to other Rangers, only because of the chest plate here. But like I said, you guys, I have this whole team from the Legacy line. It's pretty dope. I'm not going to front. It is pretty dope to have the Legacy line um, with all six Zio. Come on, Kevin. Get it together. Come on. There we go. I don't know why I keep trying to turn the brightness up. It's weird. But nonetheless, zero and six gold. I'm going to give you guys a couple more scenes. I'm going to give you a shot with all six and then some V-roll footage. And uh, I'm not going to do a raid on the Legacy line because I don't want to disrespect the Legacy line because it's the original line from Bed Down America before they got bought out by Hasbro. So I'm not going to rate these. I'm just going to show you what you see is what you get. I am hoping, though, on a side note, that they actually come out with the one scale Zeo Rangers. Now, that will be fire if they did that. And they do the Zeo line, I'm sold. So, you know, 3-0, Hasbro, if y'all hear me, y'all listening to this, y'all need to make the Zeo line. And make some bad guys, too. I wouldn't mind having some one scale bad guys. Make some bad guys. You know, start with Lord Zed. Make some bad guys. I, I appreciate you guys, you know, always about the good guys. Make some bad guys. I think that'd be pretty hot, man. But nevertheless, let me give you this next scene, you guys. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. As you can see, I have the whole Zero Ranger team out here. One through six. Zero Ranger one, pink. Zero Ranger two, yellow. Zero Ranger three, blue. Zero Ranger four, green. Zero Ranger five, red. Zero Ranger six, gold. So I do have all six from the Legacy line. Once again, you guys, I have not opened these things off in about, ooh, man, three and a half, four years. I haven't really touched them since I moved into, you know, me and, my, me and my fiance moved in together. So I've been open to man and I've been, I've been prolonged to do this video for a long, long time. I told you guys, I got a bunch of closet goodies that's just sitting there. I got a bunch of stuff in there, you guys, that you guys, you wouldn't even realize that I have. But nonetheless, I do have them. I'm glad I showed you guys, I'm, you know, these figures. I'm glad I can show you guys these figures and maybe anybody who's aspired to do a collectible video or collect period, man, maybe this will show you like, you know, you just start with one, and before you know it, you you got a closet full, and now you got to the point where you have nowhere to put this stuff. And I'm steady buying stuff, steady ordering stuff. But that's what the collector is. A so shout out to my guy, GameStop. He put me on to collect it, man. I appreciate it, man. Ever since he told me you're going to get one, and you're going to go from there, I really appreciate it. My fiance, she collects pops. Uh, she's a big fan of pop figures. I'm not. She is. She loves those things. She's a fan of statues. I hate statues as well. I like myself to move, but she is a big fan of statues. But nevertheless, I like action figures, and this is the reason why I collect them, because they bend, they move, and I can look at them and play with them and mess with them, because I'm just a big kid at the end of the day. This is why I collect this stuff, because I'm a big kid. But nonetheless, you guys, there will be no review on this, because I, don't, I do not want to disrespect the Legacy Bandai America line, because this is what populated Hasbro buying them out and then making the Lightning Collection. So I would never disrespect the OGs. This is what I'm going to call them, the OGs. So I'm going to give you guys some B-roll footage, man, of these of these legendary legacy line figures, man. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you guys for my new vi viewers who are watching the video for subscribing, hitting that bell for all post notifications, hitting the thumbs up. 
in the comments. Trust me, guys. You guys subscribe to my channel. I would not disappoint you. To my current subscribers, thank you guys so much for supporting me and rocking with me through this long trial. It's a long way up, guys, but I'm taking you guys with me. And trust me, I got a lot more stuff coming. You guys just stay tuned. Support for, support your kid, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, my YouTube inspirations, you guys know who they are. Talk Guy Car Review, Mr. Organic, CJ 32s, uh, CJ So Cool, Life of Corey, I mean, Hellcat, uh, BJ on Dirty Shoes. It's, it's a bunch of people, man. Like, I'm always, you know, rock them and, and shout them out, you know, hashtag them. Also, check out my YouTube, I mean, my, not my YouTube page, my Facebook page. I'm adding more and more pictures and content on that every day, getting that up and running. Also, my Instagram, I'm going to have a lot of stuff on Instagram with my pictures and videos. I'm also going to the cons. I'm going to give you vlogs from the cons and all that type of stuff, man. So, guys, please stay tuned. Rock out with me. I greatly appreciate the support. But, you know, I'm going to leave this video on this note. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. That's your next thing, you guys. I am out.